I got a few as well. I can't believe all those in the TV. I can't see how they would have gotten in there. None of the gaps here are big enough for those cards to get in. It doesn't flims enough to go in for these gaps. Maybe they're the sides. Could have been through the sides. <laughs> That's a classic. So this is this is an easy fix. Just that little um, capacitor and died in the power supply. I've confirmed it, powered it back on. And the capacitor that I um, pointed out smokes and squeals near that transformer. So that uh, change that capacitor on the power supply, that little blue one, and the diode, and that should be fixed. This one, the uh, it's not a power supply issue. This BGA chip here on the AV board, the main board, this BGA chip gets hot after sitting for a bit. So the um, yeah, the, the CPU, so to speak, is um burnt out. This heat sink that was on it. I was only on it um, on one of the corners. When they put this thing on from the factory, this wasn't sitting squarely on top of the arm. Um, it wasn't making the complete even contact on top of that BGA chip. Yeah, it wasn't getting cored effectively. And it slowly, just till recently, it, um, it fried itself. It got too hot and burnt out. Because this thing wasn't adequately placed firmly on top of the um, BGA chip to cool it. So the BGA chip in this TV is fried. So if I look this up, I cannot send the final um, AV board for this TV. Everything else, yeah, but this one, not. Nah. Can't get these AV boards for this TV. So they're kind of screwed, but I probably could just get one of those little cheap eBay Universal um, LCD panel drivers like Max Arcade got. I got the power supply, the backlight, and just find a cheap module off eBay that uses this, utilizes this. And it'll have um, all the AV and VGA and everything on it. They have like a VGA or a HDMI and everything on it. And just, this just plugs into it. And it'll have something that syncs with the, uh, like this, that syncs with the backlight. So yeah, pretty common on eBay. Universal LCD drivers. And T-Con boards or what on this one. Yeah, uh, tried freeze spraying that. Nothing happens. Just been freeze sprayed. Freeze sprayed, uh, bump, see if it's got dry joints. The freeze spray hasn't worked, so yeah. The uh, CPU on this thing is fried. It's pretty cheaply made Grundig though. That's why. If you're going to buy LCD TV, especially the TCLs or cheaply made stuff, get extended warranty money on the bloody things. It's 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, about four years old. If I had the if I got given the receipts of this thing, and if it was still under warranty, <laughs> I could technically take it back and get a new one under warranty. So yeah, it's stuffed. Unfortunately, the uh, CPU and that thing for the main BGA chip and our board's fried. All because of one little factory flaw. No one paid attention when they put this bloody heat sink on. It's a good thing these TVs go forever. Jeez. And the thing tears up in next to no time, these bloody TVs. I dusted this head as best as I could, and it smells like it's been in a lounge room full of incense. It just smells of incense. Whew, this thing stinks. Incense infused TV. This would look okay as a PC gaming monitor, but the only thing you're going to worry about is burning. You know, this is the closest thing to a CRT for how it functions, but fluorescent, like a fluorescent, vacuum fluorescent display, how plasma works. But uh, yeah, fortunately for this one, we've got a. Yeah, that's a model there. If you can get, come, a, come across one of these somewhere. It's got a smashed panel. Rip this board out. Gotta get this TV going. At least we've made one good TV out of another one then. Chimay Opto Electronics made in China. Chimay panel too. Yeah, it's all because of this bloody BGA chip is fried. It won't power up because of that BGA chip's fried. That's taken the whole power supply down. What a shame. Because some little dickhead didn't pay attention putting the heat sink on and didn't get it done squarely. This happens when people skimp. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.